Um, well, we were definitely uh, happy with our victory this past week. I thought our guys had a good week of practice. Uh, I think they uh, do a good job every week of coming to practice, working on our weaknesses, trying to get better, trying to find a way to improve. And that's what you have to do at this time of the year. You have to find a way to uh, not repeat the same mistakes carried over during the game, and hopefully that it uh, pays off. But it was uh, good to get a road victory. Uh, and now we're moving on to the next one. Been really good in November the past couple of years. Do you have an explanation? No, I, I, I think our guys understand uh, the importance of that month and uh, there's a lot riding on each and every game and that, uh, you know, we try to approach the whole season, but definitely in November when it gets towards the end as a one-game season and uh, the importance of improving that week and finding a way to win and, uh, you know, our guys, you know, really I just think do a very good job with that. They. Uh, uh, they come out ready to practice. Uh, it doesn't matter who we play. I think it's about trying to improve and, uh, you know, carrying over from the practice field to the game field uh, each week. And uh, I think it, we understand if we do that, uh, the results will take care of itself. And uh, we've got to just find a way to play hard and, and tough and play smart each and every week. And that's those are the goals we have. Do you think you all get better as the season goes on? Well, I think every year we've gotten better. I think uh, you have to do that. I think if you want to be a factor at the end, uh, you've got to improve throughout the year, and other teams are going to get better as you get going. And a lot of times there's new players at every position on different teams. And if you're not improving, uh, the, the rest the end of the season is not going to be uh, good for you. And I think the, everyone wants a, a piece of the pie. And, and in order to do that, you have to uh, find a way to, to, to win at the end of your schedule uh, and, and find a way to win games in November and find a way to, to give yourself a chance uh, at the end of the season. What kind of challenges does this FIU team bring that you know as, as of now? Well, I think they're vastly improved. I think that uh, they've played a very good non-conference schedule like us, which is important, and it's going to help your team in the end, and you can tell that with them. I think that uh, since the coaching change, uh, Coach Cooper's done a very good job of uh, – you can see they've adjusted and they've changed some things up, and uh, they're being much more aggressive on the defensive side of the ball and much more aggressive on offense. They're, uh, they're, they're, they're doing more. Uh, I think the guys are playing loose. Uh, they're playing hard, and, and any time uh, – you know, two weeks ago, they're leading the conference at 3-0 in the division. And then they, they play two tough teams. They play La Tech, who we lost to, and then they play uh, Middle Tennessee. And in that game, they're driving at the end of the game to go in for the uh, game-winning touchdown. And unfortunately, they throw a pick for a touchdown. Uh, so they're, they're playing with a lot of confidence now. Uh, they've played very, two very good t teams in a row. Uh, so they're, they're used to playing against good football teams, and it'll be a challenge for us. I had one. We, we've asked, and, and during the week with press conferences, Max and Forrest has come in. But I wanted to ask you how you think uh, your other three starting offensive linemen uh, have played. Well, I like our offensive line. Yeah, of course, uh, Max Halpin is solid at center. Forrest Lamp is uh, exceptional at left tackle. I think Daryl Williams on the right side of, of the line at right tackle. Uh, uh, has played well as also. I think he's a guy that is big. Uh, every day in practice, he works hard. He's one of our leaders. He's into it. Uh, he's always out to improve, and uh, he's done a very good job. I think Brandon Ray is our left guard, and uh, he's athletic. He's been solid all year. Uh, he does a very good job uh, bringing it each and every game and being durable. And then at uh, right guard, we, we've kind of rotated Dennis Edwards, who is very strong, very physical. And then you bring in uh, Joe Manley, who's big. He, he covers a lot of space. Uh, he does a very good job also. So those those six guys are our main ones. We've been able to rotate Jimmy Sims in there, and he's uh, really done a very good job. We've been able to play Matt Nord. And uh, I think uh, – you know, between those nine guys, uh, they love the game of football. They work hard together, and they've been very beneficial and, and been a solid uh, piece to our team. Well, you know what, Daryl's uh, played very well. You know, last week they uh, moved their best defense alignment against him, and uh, you know he. he he had a couple times where he got beat uh, where he normally doesn't. But overall, he played very solid against their best player the entire game. Uh, each and every week, I think, uh, you know, he wants to win. He likes to compete. Uh, he really battles out there. He's a great leader for our offense, and uh, I love having him on our team. Speaking of offensive line, how about George Fant? 
<laughs> I think it's great. I think, you know, I didn't get to watch any of the game, but uh, a few clips I've seen on him. You know, what he has is what you can't teach. You know, he's a great athlete, and he's got great feet. And, and you know, he's gone from probably being about 250 in basketball to 300-plus pounds. And uh, when you've got that size, that athleticism, those feet, uh, the tackle position is perfect. And uh, I think he's going to play a long time. I think uh, – uh, Seattle loves to have him on the team. Uh, you know, for him to come in and, and, and to start uh, and, and perform in the last game, you know, like I said, I didn't get a chance to watch it, but I think uh, he's got a, a great future. Uh, he's We love to have him on our team here. He's a great young man. A lot of people respect him, and uh, I'm looking for, for great things to happen for him, and I'm happy uh, for him and his family. Did you get a chance to catch up with Fernando at all? Yes, we did. He came by the hotel. It was great to see him. I think that uh, – um, you know, he understands how the position works. You know, right now he's uh, got to sit there and buy his time and learn. And uh, sometimes that can be frustrating. But trust me, there's a lot worse positions to be in. He's got to just take advantage of it. He's got to have a good attitude. He's got to work hard. He's got to understand that his time can come at any point. I think that, uh, you know, they've got a starter who's done pretty good. They have a backup in Matt Moore who's probably close to retirement. And he's the next guy up. And I think the fact that he's going to be in the system, uh, he's been going to be there for a while. I think it'll pay off, and I think if he has the right attitude and, and uh, really uh, dives into the playbook and tries to get better in practice, he'll get a chance. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.